Hello, Nicholas Sperling here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to date when you're trans. Dating can be challenging to navigate at the best of times, but when you're trans, or even if you're just queer in general, dating can become a lot more challenging. Now, sexual orientation doesn't change, but you do have some choices when it comes to how you're going to date or who you're going to date. And a lot of trans people choose to date other trans people because there's this added layer of acceptance that comes along with dating a trans person. You don't have to worry about finding out later that they don't really support you and, and who you are. Trans people also tend to be a lot more comfortable about expressing their attraction to other trans folks because it can seem taboo as a cis person to be attracted to a trans person. But when you're trans, you don't have that added worry involved. The downside of this is that as a trans person, and I've dated other trans people in the past, you then have your issues almost compounded sometimes because you are dealing with your own insecurities around being trans, your own dysphoria, and now you add another trans person to the mix who's also dealing with that. And that can become especially complicated if you're at different stages within your transition. If you're interested in cis men, there's always the added complication because cis men have a higher tendency of being violent towards women and towards people in general. So there comes along with that a potential risk. So working up the courage to date a cis man can be incredibly difficult and also people need to be very careful. And some cis men have a lot of toxic masculinity and a lot of internalized homophobia and transphobia, which means that a relationship might start out seeming great and it goes downhill from there. Or maybe it never started out all that well, but there's always this sort of fear in the back of your mind when you're dating a cis man. And I don't wanna be sort of alarmist, I don't want to try to scare folks away from dating cis men, but it's a genuine fear and it's something that a lot of straight cis women experience as well. Now you may also be dating cis women and along with that comes a variety of challenges as well. And in some ways it's a lot of the same challenges as when you're dating a cis man where you don't know if the person is necessarily going to be accepting of who you are. And I find it's very good to be upfront about the fact that you're trans. Every trans person is gonna navigate dating in a different way. So this is not my recommendation. This is just how I personally deal with it. I'm very upfront about the fact that I'm trans and I think that that weeds out people that are going to potentially be problematic so that I'm not going on all sorts of problematic dates. With that said, I've found in my personal experience that cis women tend to be much more accepting of trans folks than cis men. Again, as something that I personally do, I tend to look for folks who are bisexual or pansexual. Now, I've mentioned this in a previous video that I am pansexual, which means I'm attracted to all genders, although I'm primarily attracted to women. But when I'm interested in getting into a relationship, I will typically try to find people who are bisexual or pansexual. And the reason for that is my dysphoria tends to act up and I view myself as masculine. And in my mind, I figure that if I look masculine to someone else and they're bisexual or pansexual, it's not gonna bother them as much. The reality though, is that there are plenty of lesbians who have expressed interest, who have told me that I'm very attractive and they're not seeing that masculine side that I will sometimes see in the mirror if I'm having a dysphoric day. So as a trans person, you don't have to go looking for bisexual people or pansexual people. You can date whoever you like, whoever's attracted to you. One of the things that changes from before to after transition is relationship dynamics, because you might be perceived as a straight person before and now you're perceived as a gay person or vice versa. So for me, I've gone from being perceived as a straight man to being perceived as a gay woman. And the relationship dynamics change when you're in a lesbian relationship. And that's something I'm still trying to figure out but it's just one of those little quirks. And I mean, people are people and women are women, men are men and non-binary folks are non-binary folks. That doesn't change when you transition. So as long as you treat people as human beings, everything should be fine. 
but there are definitely subtle differences between how all of those relationships work. I'm also just figuring out relationships in general, and that's because in my 20s I was much more focused on trying to start a career and working on different projects and figuring out that I'm trans and transitioning. There was a lot going on in my life that I was focused on and relationships were not a top priority for me. As I move into my 30s, I think relationships might become more of a priority, but that remains to be seen. I'm not super focused on finding that person and settling down. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, that's fine too. One of the interesting things that I've noticed recently, and I don't know if my experience is universal, but I, there seem to be a lot of people, whether you want to call them transphobes or CRAs or TERFs, that really want to focus on trans relationships. I put out a tweet last week that was just asking for dating advice because I was getting into dating and I wanted some advice on how to navigate lesbian relationships. And the amount of hate that I received from that, from just asking a simple question. And I think it's good to just be respectful of folks and to ask those questions. And I recognize that not all lesbians are going to be attracted to me, but there definitely are some lesbians that are attracted to me and I wanted to know how to navigate that situation. And like I said, I just got a lot of hate for it. And it's something that I'm used to, I, I can brush it off, but the level of vitriol and the obsession that some transphobes seem to have with us dating is just very strange to me because I don't understand, like it doesn't affect them in any way. I'm not trying to force these people to date trans folks. I don't want to date someone who doesn't like trans people. So, you know, th that's just n a non-issue. But for whatever reason, they are specifically focused on trans women as they always are. Trans men seem to get left out of the equation, unless it's including trans men to try to show that they do include trans people in their feminism because they view trans men as women which is an entirely messed up thing in and of itself, but I'll save that for another time. These folks lately that I've seen have been focusing primarily on trans women and telling us that we can't date lesbians, to stay away from lesbians, that lesbians would never be attracted to trans women, and that if a lesbian is attracted to trans women, they're not actually a lesbian, they're bisexual or pansexual. Now obviously it's problematic to try to define someone else's sexual orientation for them, but also what you're doing is breaking it down to an attraction specifically to genitals and nothing else. And the reality there is that you don't actually know what genitals a trans person has. And if you're attracted to a trans woman and they have their clothes on, you have no idea what genitals they have, but that attraction remains. Now you may have an issue with certain genitals and that's fine. I am not going to sit here and say, look, if you're a lesbian, you have to love trans women who have penises. That's a preference and that's fine. But at the same time, you can't deny that you had that attraction in the first place. And you also need to acknowledge that some lesbians are fine with trans women with penises. You don't get to define someone's sexual orientation for them. They know their sexual orientation. If they're a lesbian, they're only attracted to women and trans women are women, therefore, if they're attracted to trans women, regardless of genitals, they are a lesbian. So just to wrap all of this up, I'm not going to try to go into detail about exactly what everyone's experience as a trans person is going to be like dating, but I did just want to raise these few issues to try to point out some of the differences between dating as a trans person and dating as a cis person. Hopefully that's been helpful, whether you are someone that is just curious, or maybe you're someone who's interested in dating a trans person, or maybe you're a trans person who's just getting into the dating scene and trying to figure out how to navigate all of that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. And until next time, have a great day.